I saw The World's End last week, and I also got to talk to Edgar Wright at San Diego Comic-Con back in July. If you saw my Comic-Con videos, and you saw my, or not my video, but any video of the Visionaries panel at Comic-Con, then you would have seen me speaking to Edgar Wright. Very nice to meet him, and since I like his movies, I figured I should give this movie a go. The movie starts out giving you a backstory of the five friends, the five main characters. You get a sense of who they were when they were teenagers as they tell the story of them going on a beer run in London when they were teenagers, determined to make it to all 12 bars in one night, with the final bar called The World's End. But they don't make it all the way, and flash forward to the future, or the current period, where the five friends have moved on, four of them have gotten married and raised families, while one of them stays a bachelor. The bachelor is played by Simon Pegg, Nick Frost plays one of the friends, and the other friends are played by Martin Freeman, Patty Considine, and Eddie Marson. So, Simon Pegg decides he wants to reunite the friends and give this beer run another shot again. So he reunites the friends after some arguing with them, brings them all together, they explore their hometown, and this time they are ready to make it to all 12 bars and get to the world's end in time. They make it to the first few beers, with four of the friends drinking beer and one friend drinking water from the tap. The friend drinking water is played by Nick Frost, and he angers many of the friends in the process by drinking water. Or actually, no, he angers Simon Pegg. The other friends don't have much of a problem with it. But as they make it to each bar, they notice some suspicious behavior from the other residents. This leads to Simon Pegg getting into a fight with one teenager, leading to the other friends getting into fights with other teenagers, leading to the teenagers turning out to be robots, or blanks. Turns out blanks have taken over the city. We get some explanation as to how the blanks formed, where they continue to go from there, and then we get a sense that the apocalypse is near. And from here on, some of the friends are scared, so scared that they want to escape the city right away before the infection spreads to them. But Simon Pegg, on the other hand, is determined to make it to all 12 beers and finish all 12 bars and finish with the world's end. And he won't let anything stand in the way, not even the end. <laughs> so this movie is full of joy, it's full of humor, it's full of excitement, it's full of fun. Much like this is the end, it's a really jolly good time. I've, I've, you really get a sense of the passion that each character has. You get a sense of Simon Pegg's passion and his determination to make it to the end of this big run. And Edgar Wright brings a lot of flavor to the story. And in that regard, I think, this, the, I think The World's End is a really good movie. And with that in mind, if you haven't seen it yet and you're a fan of Edgar Wright and you're a fan of British comedy, The World's End is definitely for you.